As the Venezuelas steams north, along the eastern shore of the Black Sea, the interconnections between humankind and nature and the economic forces pulling them apart become clearer. The passengers are making a shore visit to a dolphinarium. The dolphinarium was originally intended for the rehabilitation of dolphins and returning them to the Black Sea. Russia is one of the world's great nations, one of the world's great military and economic powers, of course. It has suffered from hard times of late, and this facility suggests the effects of those hard times. These animals are being kept in captivity, but there is almost no funding to maintain them and to rehabilitate them and let them go in the wild as this facility was set up to do. And so now it's a dolphin show. I suspect to bring in a few dollars or a few rubles. It's symptomatic, I think, that these animals are being forced to pay their way in the world, justify their existence by generating dollars rather than being able to live in the wild as they did for thousands, millions of years before. Um, our planet is quickly going from uh, one dominated by nature in which human beings are one species among many and quickly becoming something that has been termed a mega zoo, a gigantic zoo, where instead of a matrix of nature with scattered pockets of people, we have a matrix of humankind with very small scattered pockets of nature, such as this holding facility for dolphins. I think we have to do a better job. I think we have to have a world that is safe for marine organisms outside of these facilities. We have to have oceans that have food for them to eat, water of sufficient quality so that they don't sicken and die, places where they can be as they were before we came on the scene and changed everything. The plight of the Dolphinarium reveals the impact of a devastated economy upon wildlife protection. Novorossiysk already suffers from major pollution problems. But the latest threat to the wildlife and to the city comes from an economic boom in oil. An international consortium wants Novorossiysk to be the main transshipment point for oil, piped overland from the huge Caspian oil fields to the east, ending in an underwater pipeline in the harbor. People at Novorossiysk in Russia seem immediately to appreciate that the new design for underwater pipeline leading to an oil boy terminal was dangerous and led to the possibility of really massive pollution if there was a big spill in that pipeline. 